So last time we got MixOS up and running with the default GNOME or GNOME environment and a couple of common things that have come up quite a bit on the net is one or two things of, for example, how do you change the the system from the GNOME system to KDE system? Sort of the good advantages of using XOS is unlike some other distributions, if you go and install KDE and then remove GNOME or GNOME, you might have an issue where there's dependency hell or packages that are still left behind and you're going to have a problem and sometimes you have to create a new user account and it can be a whole long story. The nice thing is with MixOS, it actually will handle all of it for you and what and you handle it again in the configuration file. So we're going to do that together. And then there's just one or two things I want to chat about in the configuration file. So in the meantime, I'm going to open up my terminal. Okay. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sudo nano forward slash etc mix os and the configuration dot mix. Then going to put in our password. So one or two things I need to address quickly. If you're adding or removing general software, so let's say you're adding an application, so you're installing OBS Studio or you're installing VLC or installing Brave, you get the idea. You don't need to reboot the system. I personally like to do that uh, just for my own sanity, but you don't need to reboot the system then. Technically speaking, with MixOS, you only need to reboot the system if you have made serious configuration changes uh, service changes to the system, etc. Or like in this case, you're changing an entire uh, GUI system from one system to the other. Uh, that's something to bear in mind. Um, second thing as well, I just want to point out, I uh, just think all these extra lines in my file, uh, I've been expanding it a little bit. Uh, you'll see in these applications to be installed where we added some applications. Technically speaking, because the system does have this environment of system packages equal with packages, means you don't have to install that line. So what it means is here, we could have it just say, uh, it, it, no, um, dot no tweaks, or for example, we could just say VLC. So an example is it could just show it like this. Uh, we don't have to put the PKGS behind it. Um, uh, minds like that, just it's minds and bad habit. And also, uh, I myself wasn't 100% sure of that when I started the journey of MixOS. But you can have it with it there, or you can have it there without it. It, it doesn't really uh, matter. As long as you have got this uh, configuration here, then it doesn't matter with or without it. But you would still need, for example, if you've got Panthen on dash tweaks, uh, you would still need that. Um, but okay, so let's scroll up here a little bit. So at the moment, our system has got uh, the GNOME environment enabled and I've gone ahead and added some extra variables for the different desktop environments and I've just hashed them out so I can just hash or unhash. So if we go back to what it says here, it immediately says uh, services.x7 able equal true, this line here which it's always going to be, it should always be here in April. So we shouldn't have to actually mess with this line. What we are going to do though, is we would literally copy and paste these two lines. Uh, exactly like this. We will copy it. We'll paste it here and it will look like this. And of course, uh, it will look like this without the hashes. So remember, if you hash something, you're disabling it. So. You copy and paste it, it should look like that. And what you would do at the same time is you would hash this out. So you put hash there, and this is basically telling the system, uh, stop using the GNOME Display Manager, and that's the portion when your machine starts up and you type in your uh, credentials, and don't use uh, GNOME at all. And here we've just told it, rather use uh, a KDE's uh, Simple Display Manager system, and use KDE or Plasma 5. Um, so I'm just going to save the file. 
and exit it. And of course, we're just going to do an XOS dash rebuild switch. Sometimes though, uh, when you're doing it and you're changing uh, desktop environments, it might uh, sometimes go black because it's removing some of the if files and the system needs when you're actually on it in the GUI. Doesn't happen often. If you find it takes it just back to a normal login prompt and just uh, uh, log in uh, with your credentials, even though it is the command line, and then just run the switch command again and uh, reboot him, it should be fine. So it's done here what it needs to do. So I'm just going to do a sudo reboot. And again, of course, if something goes wrong, hence, as we saw in the previous video, you can always go back. And if this works, you'll see we've now got KDE logging in to the KDE environment. And just see how simple was that to swap between the two different environments. Uh, now, my machine has some of the files cached, but so I know also how I take but I don't know what downloads of files, but here we go. Our KDE using 5.27.6 and anything's here and the nice thing is all my existing files that i've got and stuff installed on my machine guess what it's kept all the files now you should always have a backup of your files but all my additional applications i've installed one or two flat packs uh some uh, native applications settings it's all it's all here i don't have to reconfigure anything really I might want to just maybe change uh, KDE's interface a little bit. Uh, but apart from normal desktop changing, as with any system, it works uh, pretty perfectly and works really, really nicely. Go to KDE, but now what if we want to do something different, like Cinnamon, or we want to use Smart A. So one of the things, of course, on their website on Linux, OS options is if you were to do this, I mean, for example, search Marte, it actually has got the option here, services.marte enable, which is, if you think back, it's kind of similar to one of the files that we use with KDE or for GNOME, or if I want to do, uh, let's say, deep then desktop manager, kind of the same thing here as well, and uh, Cinnamon. Right, so let's say now in this example, we're going to go for Tomate. Next, we're going to select the idea is, of course, we would add this to our configuration file. So, what we need to do is this when you open up the config file again, and in this case. Here we go, we've got the file again. Now, one or two things I, I just need to bring up. If you are using a flash pack like I am, you might have to add additional parameters uh, to the system for system that is not KDE or not GNOME. No. So if you're using Marte, you're using XFCE, you might have to add one or two additional arguments that I've discovered to possibly get network working or uh, the flat packs working correctly. So you'll see at the bottom of this page, I added a section called additional conflict for Martin XFCE. And what I'm going to do is I've, I've got it hashed out at the moment because we were using GNOME, GNOME and KDE, but we're not going to use those at the moment. So I'm going to just uh, unhash it out. Right. And just going to go back up here. This, as long as these, I find these entries appear in your file, so it should work fine. I will leave a link to configuration files um, somewhere and probably leave a link to my config file as well. Okay, so now we need to go all the way back up and now we've got KDE Plasma and we're just gonna hash it out, hash that out. And if we were to look here, we would go copy this. So this is from XF server, is that manager Marte? 
And if you look here, I've actually already done that. And like earlier, all I need to do is I can, in my case, I can just uh, uncomment it. Of course, it will be you adding it. It would uh, already be uncommented. So that's equal true. We're going to set the file. Going to exit. Rebuild switch. And whoa, the system will automatically start rebuilding itself. Those three lines at the bottom there, if they're not enabled and you try to join Marta, you might have issues where, I, like I mentioned, the network might not work or both flat packs might not open. And if you leave them unticked and you try to go back to GNOME, uh, you might find that GNOME will no longer, um, it, it, the system actually, it conflicts, it won't uh, do the switch. So that's to the reboot. And here we go, we've got the uh, mean Marty desktop. So I can just fix the display a little bit. And there we go, I've now I've got the Marte desktop installed. And if we go back to my home, downloads my files that you saw here, are still here. My applications that were here earlier are still here on the machine. And it all will, continues to function. So, yeah. Um, Not too sure the depth's going to work correctly, so I'm going to create a new portion here, just above cinnamon, so I'll just do this, hash to enable the depth desktop, and like earlier we'll go and as a matter, I think I used Brave earlier from Firefox. Go to next options. Go to Deppen. Right. Um, I'm not just sure some of which of these additional ones might need to be enabled. So let's just see what happens. So I'm going to copy this. Some of these can sometimes be a bit of time and error. And we're going to paste. Right, and to make this thing live, we'll do equals true. And at the moment, we are using Marte, so I just want to stop Marte, save the file, and do it. Let's see if it will do a rebuild. Last thing is, if it doesn't work, we can just revert back which is really nice and takes out a lot of the uh, I see and to that this works so ah. I'm going to do no, no, no. and go to the control center okay we're working to see these messages go to display going to make an Back here, safe and personalization, I'm gonna make it dark. And up here, we have gone and together now install the Deppin system environment. And if you have any questions, put them below or comments as always. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.